Good evening, Mr. Pardo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? Uh, I'm tired, teacher. I'm tired. Okay. Are you going to be a participating tonight? Uh, I participate when I arrive at my home. Okay, excellent. I'm glad that you're going to be participating. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Noe, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Bye. Great, great, great. Excellent. How was your day? Um, very nice. Nice, nice. Great, great, great. Excellent. Mr. Carlos Rivas, good evening. So let's see here. Catherine. Reina, good evening. Thank you very much for joining the class. Okay, so Carlos, Catherine, Noé, Andre, and Reina, we are going to wait just for one or two minutes more, right? Just to wait for your partners. Okay, teacher. Thank you. So we also have now Miguel, good evening. We also have Guillermo, good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Um, it was fine. <laughs> A little bit boring, but fine. Oh, okay, boring, so that means like no calls? Um, I mean, it was a normal day, I think. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Thank you for sharing that and welcome to the class, my friend. Okay, thank you. Just one more minute, people, and then we can continue. Welcome to the class, Edwin, and also Mr. Flores. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Okay, well, excellent. So we already gave five minutes here. So, well, thank you everybody who has joined the class on time. I truly appreciate your responsibility. All right, so now it's time for you to start practicing, right? With the first activity I have for you tonight. And that is going to be here, you know, a tongue twister for tonight, all right? So the following tongue twister that it, we have right there, it's with the purpose of practicing specific final sounds like the a, K sound, all right? And also the R sound here, when you said like under, take, all right? Those two final sounds, under and then cake. The, both of the sounds that we are going to participate, I mean, practice tonight are representing in different words in this uh, tongue twister, right? Uh, good evening and welcome to Mr. Membreño and Ursula. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Uh, now, let's see right now. I'm going to repeat it for you uh, right now, and then you guys are going to continue practicing this one, all right? It says, an undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook 
to undertake, right? So like that one. Remember, super important that this syllable right here that you can see in many of the words right here, it's not pronounced as un. It's going to be pronounced as on, right? Like if you have a letter O here, on, right? So one more time, an undertaker undertook the undertake an undertaking. You see one more time, an undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. All right, easy, right? So that's actually like uh, the main thing here. As I said before, remember when you see the syllable, it has to be on, like with a letter O, right? In every word you see here. Okay, questions about the pronunciation of these words? Do you have any questions? No, did you? No? Okay, Wait. excellent. So right now I'm going to set my alarm and I'm going to give you two minutes so you can practice this on Twister and then I will choose some of the volunteers, all right? I'm setting right now my alarm here. So you have exactly two minutes. Okay, two minutes start right now, my friends, all right? Let's see, let's see. Good evening and welcome, Mr. David Emanuel, Miguel Angel, and Henry Rivas. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, then. Remember to practice the pronunciation, right? So, which is going to be here. A, an undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Like that. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Excellent. You still have, according to this one, one more minute. One more minute, one more minute. Right, one more time. I wonder pretty one more time. An undertaker, one more time, yes. An undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Like that, very good, very good. Awesome, awesome. How much, you, know, you still have like 10 seconds, people, 10 seconds. We are about to finish. So let me see if I have some volunteers here. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Time's up. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So I'm going to put this one right here on the side. And then everybody, now I need some volunteers who can help me to read this one. All right, who's my volunteer? Let's see. My first volunteer tonight. Hello, hello. Who is going to be my first volunteer tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you. That was Guillermo, right? Go ahead, yes, my friend. Teacher. Okay. An undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Great, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. That was actually a very good job. All right, so thank you for being the first volunteer and also congratulations for the good job you did. All right, thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Huh? Who is going to be my next volunteer? 
Me teacher. Thank you. That will be Daniel, right? Go ahead, Daniel. An undertaker under two to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Great job, my friend. Super nice. Thank you also for being a volunteer and participate in this activity. What about girls? Uh huh. The girls. I need a girl who can participate actually here. Or any other boy, no problem, right? So, mm -hmm. volunteers, volunteers, it's easy. Uh -huh. Catherine, Ursula, Edwin, Mr. Flores. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ursula. Go ahead, please. Okay. An undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Great, excellent. Thank you very much. You really like it. So you did it wonderfully as well. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. So let's see who else wants to actually help us with this one. I can see that. Nuria and Sonia just joined the class. So good evening, girls. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, Catherine, thank you. Thank you for being the volunteer. Go ahead, Catherine. Okay. An undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking. The undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaking undertaker ever undertook to undertake to undertake excellent thank you very much it's really appreciated right uh, we can also see there anybody else thank you thank you Catherine. that was actually good uh -huh. oh my god i can i can see that jill joined the class hello jill all right so uh-huh anybody else any other volunteer because Catherine just participated uh-huh henry giovanni go ahead my friend an undertaker undertook to undertake an undertaking the undertaking that the undertaker undertook was the hardest undertaking the undertaker ever undertook to undertake. Thank you very much. Actually, you were doing a very good job as well. Thank you, my friend. You did good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, excellent. So we are going to stop right here with this activity. I really want to say thank you and congratulations to everybody who participated. You guys were doing a very good job. Now, let's see what's next right here. Let me clean the screen here so we can see. Excellent. So now we have here a review, 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 review. All right, this is going to be a review. Um, about the last class we were studying, which is was a grammar topic, right? Which is like should have and could have. Do you remember that? Hmm, let's see if you remember it. What's the meaning of should have? Let's see if you remember it. Mm -hmm. Should have. What's the meaning? Mm hmm. Podría ser. Podría ser. Mm -mm. Debería. Debería, Debería haber. Ser. Exactly. Yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So when you actually talk about like should have, you're talking about debería haber. And what about like could cool have? Podría haber. Podría haber, exactly, right? So, all right. So, what is the exercise we have uh, here about? Well, we have four situations, right? In these four situations, we are going to talk about something that debería haber hecho o podría haber hecho, right? So, let's just go ahead and check the first one right here, all right? So, it says, number one, I need a volunteer who can help me with number one, just for reading, 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 reading. Can you read it? Number one, volunteer. Yeah, teacher. 
Please go ahead, my friend. I got sick, but I didn't know to pick my boss. Thank you. All right. And, and what does it mean? I got sick, it means? What is got sick? Uh -huh. Enfer Enfermarse as a verb. All right. So like that one. Solamente sick, that would be like what you were saying before. All right. So let's see here. Me enfermé, but I didn't notify my boss, which it means I didn't call my boss and I said, boss, I'm sick, All right? So I didn't do it. Uh -huh. So what happens here? What would be like the recommendation? Are you going to use could have or should have? What would you say, what would you, uh, say in this case? Mm -hmm. Will that be here? Could have. Could have or should have? Should have. All right. Should have. You sure? Should, should have. Yay. All right. Can you tell me how is it going to be the recommendation? Uh huh. What's going to be the full recommendation? Should have notified. Notify you and, boss and what is and what is um the subject it's gonna be i you he she it which you, one he, you you uh-huh what's next should have should have uh -huh. notify notify who? Your, your boss. Your boss. Exactly, right? So we go on this one right here. You should notify your boss because um, it's you're talking about you here, right? So you should have notified your boss. Tu deberías haber avisado, notificado a tu jefe. Very good. We got the first one. Thank you. Now I need another volunteer who can help me to read. The number two, just read. Volunteer for reading? Yep. Thank you, Jill. I received a big order, but I don't have enough products. Okay, excellent. So what's gonna be the uh, recommendation here? Are you going to use cool or are you going to use have? Should. Should. Okay, let's just come to this one right here. So it's going to be like should or cool. Uh huh. What is it going to be? In your opinion. I... Mm hmm. Hello. You could have ordered more products. You could have ordered more products. Is that correct? Are you going to use could have? All right, so it depends on what you're trying to say, right? Because if you're trying to say, tu podrías haber ordenado más productos, that would be like the correct one. Or, tu deberías haber ordenado más productos, you should have ordered more products, depending on what you're trying to say, remember, right? So we will keep, we will keep this one off with cool. All right, number three. Volunteer for number three right here. Uh huh. What is it, my friends? Volunteer for reading it, please. Just reading. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. The schedule is a mess and it is very difficult for staff to understand it. Uh -huh. What are you going to use? Are you going to use cool or shoe? Yep. Uh -huh. Should. Should, all right. Can you give me an example? Uh 
تمام يس هلو 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 جو جو خال Order your schedule. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, I should what? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. Yes, what is it? Are there more information? Ah, exactly. You should have added more information, right? So you go on this one. You, it's the last pasada, the same exercise, right? You should have added more information. Exactly the same, all right? And then what about this one right here? Another volunteer for reading this one. Just reading. I didn't you know, know there was homework. Thank you very much. And how would you recommend this one here? Mm -hmm. How would you say tu podrías haber pedido la tarea? O oh, podrías haber preguntado. You could have asked for you. Let's see this one right here. You could have asked. Yes or no? Yes. Great. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much, everybody, for helping me reading and participating with creating those sentences. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Okay. Okay. Thank you. In that case, let me just go ahead and clean this one so we can continue with the next part here okay so now we are going to uh, read a little bit more about this one which is this so everybody please make sure that you pay attention to what we are reading right now because later you are going to answer some questions right and it's important that you pay attention to what we are reading right now here we are going to talk about a crisis management plan. What is it? Okay, thank you. All right, so a crisis management plan. So what is it? I, I will read it for you first, and then I will ask for some of you who can help me to repeat or rereading this. All right, so this is the following. It defines how the company will respond if a crisis occurs, identifies which crises are most likely to affect the organization and describes what the impact will be on the business. All right, that's actually what you need to read. All right, I need another volunteer who can help me to read the same paragraph. Who is going to help me? Yes. Thank you, Nuria. Please go ahead. Okay. It defines how the company will respond if a crisis occurs. It identifies which crises are most likely to affect the organization and describes what the impact will be on the business. 
Thank you very much. So basically, this is telling us that a crisis management plan, it's a plan that the companies create just to see whenever we they have a crisis and see uh, how this can affect the company and to have different type of plans so they can actually uh, react to this crisis, right? So let's see the next one right here. Oh, questions about vocabulary here? Questions about vocabulary? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So now we are going to read this part right here, like the stages of a crisis management, right? So there are three different stages right here. The first one is the pre-crisis, the crisis response, and the post-crisis here. And we are going to read all of them. I need three different volunteers, one for this one, one for the second one, and one for the last one right here. Okay, who is going to be my volunteer for number one? Yeah, exactly for this one. Yes. Volunteer, volunteer. Pre crisis. Pre crisis, yes. Pre crisis. Develop and practices. Why the rest on the various crises scenarios. Uh -huh. Identify risks and plan for ways to minimize those risks. risks. Establish monitoring or early warning, warming uh, systems. Uh -huh. Develop crisis response plan. Identify someone someone to have as a crisis manager thank you very much i truly appreciate that one that was actually a very good one all right now let's repeat those words that it's going to help you to improve the pronunciation of the words right so the first one right here it says ways repeat it ways ways very good. This is just like if you had the pronunciation here, you had this one, and the pronunciation is going to be uh, like this one. Ways. Así tal cual. Ways. Very good. Ways. Yes, exactly. Then you have the other one. Minimize. You're pretty minimize. Minimize. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. The next one. Risk. R risk risk exactly risks and again then the next one identify repeat it identify identify yes which is going to be like this one i then e i identify 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 Ident identify Okay. Identify, identify, identify. Ident there we go. And then the last one, song one. Repeat it. Song one. Thank you very much on this one. Thank you, thank you. So now, thank you. Uh, a volunteer for the second one, please. Thank you, Jill. Go ahead. Crisis response. Execute the organization. Uh, Jill, the microphone went off. Excuse me. No problem. Crisis, crisis response. Execute the organization crisis response, response plan. Company crisis management team. Crisis manager communicator with employees and the public. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. You did wonderful as well. All right, so now, uh, just that word, which is communicate. Repeat it. Communi communicate. Communicate, exactly, right? Oh, so you were doing a very good job with the rest of that. Thank you. All right, what about my volunteer for the third area there? 
Thank you, Nuria. Please go ahead. Uh, post crisis review, adjust, and update response plan for the future. Crisis manager continues to meet with crisis uh, management team. Re revisit crisis response plan to evaluate and re revise if needed. Thank you very much as well. All right. So you're doing a good job on this one. All right. So just like two words right there. Remember, adjust. 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 Excellent. And the next one, crisis. Repeat it, please. Crisis. Crisis. Great. Excellent. Thank you. So those are the two words that you were actually participating with. All right. Those are the like the three different areas about like the crisis management. So like the pre-crisis when they are going to develop uh, all the things that you know they can do during an event right so to determine what are like the possible risk right or the possible risks and uh, try to plan according to uh, the risk all right then the crisis response when, whenever the situation happens so they follow the plan right and you know they are trying to to fix the problem and then post crisis which is going to be um, to evaluate if basically the plan worked so they can continue using it or if they had to apply changes because of something that was not working properly, right? Do you have questions about vocabulary, my friends? Can I continue? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me just clean this one right here. Did you send the screenshot for this one or not? Let me check. Okay, no problem. So I will just send it here. One quick second. Oh, did somebody send it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. So uh, I have sent this information. So let's just continue right now with the next part right here. So now we are going to talk about 10 elements of a crisis management plan that you can include or you, you have to include actually on this um, crisis management plan. So let me start right now here with number one, which he says risk analysis or analysis. What do you think? How do you pronounce this word right here, my friends? In your opinion, of course. Analysis. Analysis or analysis? So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Analysis. Analysis. I, I have heard like three possible versions. I would like to like decide which one are you going to use? Analysis, analysis, analysis. So what is it going to be? Uh -huh. Is this risk? Uh, risk analysis. Analysis. All right. So like this one, it's going to be a analysis. Repeat it. Analysis. 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 Yes. All right. So that's the pronunciation. So number one is the risk analysis, right? Which it means a study of the most likely crisis you will face. So in the number one, in the element number one, we determine what are like the possible risks that we can find in our company, right? So number two, activation protocol, protocol, protocol. What's the correct pronunciation of the word in number two? Protocol. All right, so it's gonna be this one right here. Uh-huh. So this one, what do you say, excuse me? 
protocol. Protocol, exactly. Activate, activation protocol. So, and then the word that is right below protocol, this one, will that be triggers, triggers, and what's the meaning? Uh huh. What is it? Triggers. 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 Actually, it's a great pronunciation. Triggers. Repeat it. Triggers. 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 All right. Triggers. So, and what is triggers? Triggers, it says, for your crisis. Uh huh. What is it? Huh? All right, so yeah, like that is that is going to be like detonar, all right? So uh, the word triggers, all right? So like triggers, detonar. So detonar uh, for your crisis response, right? So once we have identified we have a crisis, we automatically activate the protocols. Right, so nada de esperar a ver si es cierto que pasa o no. So you do it like immediately, right? Como por ejemplo en un earthquake. So like that. Then number three. In number three, can you please tell me how are you going to pronounce this word? Chine, chain, chin, chain. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Chine. Chine, okay. Anybody else? Chain. Chain, exactly. So chain of commands, right? And where's the chain? Like a uh, cadena in Spanish. Correct. Oh. It's una cadena or like we can say here, in este caso la cadena de comandos, which means lines of authority for crisis management. So ya estamos like eh, aware who it's going to be reacting in those areas, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking yeah, about, have... like, for example, the simulacrum, right? So, like, the simulacrums mm -hmm. that we did, for example, last month, you guys uh, knew who was going to be in charge of certain activities, right? And, for example, then we go back to number four right here. What is number four? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It says command a center plan, a base of operations for the crisis response. All right, so we need to identify where are we going to be taking care of these situations, right? Then we move to number five. In number five, it says response action plans, which is detailed plans for the actions you will take, right? So the response action plans are specifically the activities that you are going to take to react to the crisis, right? Okay. Then number six, it says internal communications. So which is assistance for crisis team, communications and information sharing with employees. Yeah. So this is actually yeah. an important part right here because it's going to like communicate everything to other people in the company, right? But that's inside the company. And then we have the opposite right here, which is external. A plan for communicating with the media and the public. So they are going to explain what is going to be the plan in case there is a crisis. You know, normally this happens uh, once the plan has been created and the companies wants to want to share this with the media, for example, or the public in general. What about number eight? What is number eight? Mm -hmm. oh. Resources. Resources. Thank you very much. All right. Oh. This is information, equipment, supplies, outside, outside advisors oh. you have available, right? So all the things you have to like invest on, right? Like money and also um, working hours, right? Then we have number nine, which is important. What is it? Number nine? Training. Training, exactly, right? So the plans for practicing the crisis response. ¿Qué vendría siendo, for example, lo que les decía anteriormente, like the simulacrum, all right? So like this one, which is going to be 
simulacrum, exactly, right? So the simulacrum eh, that we do it, that's part of a training, right? Para saber qué cosas hacer durante un, for example, earthquake in this case. And the last one, it will be, everybody here, repeat it, review, repeat it, review. 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 Thank you, which Thank are the you. procedures for updating the plan and analyzing crisis response. This is the last one. And we are going to check this last step whenever we identify what actually were the good decisions we made and if something needs to be done in a different way so we can avoid having more crisis during the crisis, right? So do you have questions about vocabulary in this uh, picture? Hello? Teacher. Tell me. Eh, podría repetir cómo se pronuncia en la día donde dice the plan en analyzing or? that's actually correct the way you say it okay thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome okay 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 which is remember it's not the same like analysis get analyzing analyzing it's the verb and analysis is a noun all right eh, any other question you might have people Questions, pronunciation, vocabulary? Yes, Mr. Luna? No, teacher. Everything's okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for confirming that. All right, so we are going to continue right now here. And we will go with this information right here. So we will have a conversation time, right? So we have four questions that you guys are going to be uh, talking about here in couples or in groups, right? In the breakup rooms. So you're going to be looking for the answers. The, uh, the answers for these four questions are gonna be in the previous slides that we have shared before. So for this one, then this one, and finally, the last one we were reading there, okay? So now we have the questions, oops, sorry. The questions there, which is gonna be this one, exactly. Okay. Uh, what's the question number one? Okay, everybody, can someone here help me to read the question number one? Yes, just reading, just yes. reading. Go ahead. Uh, okay, okay, number one. Mm -hmm. What is a cri uh, crisis management plan? Thank you, all right. Would you mind helping me with all the questions? No problem. Thank you. Of course. Uh, number two. Is there a crisis management plan on your company? Mm -hmm. and number three, explain the stages of crisis management plan. Am I pronouncing uh, well the word crisis teacher? The crisis management? Is correct pronunciation? No, crisis? Yes, is it correct? It's correct. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, number three, explain the stages of a crisis management plan. And number four, in your opinion, what are top three most important elements of a crisis management plan? Thank you very much for this one. All right, so that was actually a very good job. So you were doing good when it comes to reading these four questions, okay? So remember this one, you're going to give me a definition, right? So you can find that in the first slide. Then, um, this one is about your companies, right? It's a crisis management plan in your company. You can mention and talk about that if you remember that a crisis normally is associated with a difficulty, right? It could be because of an earthquake or fire in the building or another type of crisis, like for example, economic crisis, right? So, eh, or like losing, for example, products, right? And so on. E and then, you need to explain. Listen, this is super important, right? Don't come here and say, ah, mire, los, um, los stage of the crisis management on pre-crisis, crisis response, and post-crisis. Thank you. No, you are going to explain, for example, what is pre-crisis, what is crisis response, and what is post-crisis. Is that clear? Yes, excellent. Thank you very much. And then in number four, again, you're going to be giving a personal opinion. 
Uh, what are the top three most important elements of a crisis plan? So those elements are the ones you can see on the screen right now. They are 10, but you are going to select the top three, like the three most important one in your opinion, okay? Is it clear? Clear yes. to your clear? Yes. Excellent. So let me see if you have the questions here. Yay, the activity is there. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to stop the share right here for a moment. And I'm going to, well, create the breakout rooms based on. Okay, very good. On what I can see here. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Mr. Carlos Rivas. Well, Mr. Carlos Rivas is a listener. Uh, Guillermo and Catherine, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, and Guillermo? Hello, hello, Guillermo. Are you still in the class? Yeah, he is here, but hopefully he's available to participate. Okay, uh, Maritza and Ursula, are you both active? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sonia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Edwin and Henry, Giovanni? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Flores? Listener, okay. Huh? Teacher. Yeah. Hi, Linda. Okay, great. No problem. So it's gonna be here. Number seven. Daniel Membreño. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Thank you. And Nuria and uh, Wilfredo Luna. Yes, teacher. Thank ready, you. teacher. Ready. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let me see it one more time. Guillermo, Guillermo, are you there? Hello, Guillermo. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, so it's going to be Guillermo Catherine, Maritza Ursula, and then it's going to be number... Two. Maybe, yeah. Who? 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 Noe. Noe, Noe, Noe. Oh. Where are you, Noe? Oh, Noe goes with Jill. Okay. All right. Noe and Jill. Jill, active, right? Okay, I'm did here. you? Here. And then Sonia will go with Daniel and Eduardo. If Eduardo can participate, of course, right? There you go, excellent. Okay, everybody, so I will be just moving this one here. No whatever alone. Great, excellent. Okay, please accept the request to join the breakout rooms, my friends. Go ahead.
Yes, porque dice in, in your company. Teacher. Yes, 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 tell me. Uh, las preguntas son basadas en, en la información que nos proporcionó. Correct. Okay. okay, so the first one is what is a crisis management plan? Mm. It defines how the company will respond if a crisis occurs. Okay. And yes, my company has a crisis management plan. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's from the first slide. Yeah. And then explain the stages of a crisis management plan. Remember with that one, I said not only mentioning them, but explaining them, right? Okay, we have pre-crisis. Mm -hmm. In this stage, we identify the re we de identify mm -mm. identify or identify the risk and maybe a possible plan to have a solution. Or the crisis. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Then we have the crisis respond. And well, here we we can communicate the information to have a. to have a solution in our company. Okay, very good. And then we have post crisis. And we, we have to do an evaluation of all the risks that we have. And try to make it better. Correct. So in the future, we have to uh, have less risk in our company. Okay. That's basically about it. All right. I'm going to um, move to a different breakout room. If you need my help, just let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello. How are you doing, girls? Hello. Do you need my help? Do you have questions? Anything I can help you with? Um, no, teacher. No, okay. Las respuestas sí serán de las de las diapositivas anteriores, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that's correct. Solamente like we need to remember, for example, in the question number two, I see mm -hmm. it's actually something personal because I'm asking you mm -hmm. if there is a crisis management plan in your company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only one Thank that you. is personal. Okay. Number four, two. Marisa. Hola. Number four, también. Ah, oh, yeah. In your yeah. opinion, what are the top, the top three most important elements? Number two and number four. Right, that's personal, but the number four, yeah, it is personal, but you have to take it from, from the last slide, right? Yes, but in, in your opinion. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, how do you say matriz de riesgo? Excuse me? How do you say matriz de riesgo? Let me see if I, I could hear you correctly. So do you said matriz de riesgo? Yes. Mm. It's, it's a kind well, of logic. If I, is, uh, uh -huh. if I translate it literally, it would be like a risk matrix, but I will have to check if it is exactly what you're talking about. Let me see. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's correct. So there will be the risk matrix. Risk matrix. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let me just write it here in the chat so you can see it. One second. Matrix. Risk matrix. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. I will go to a different breakout room and then if you need help, let me know. Okay. Okay. okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, hello, my friends. Did you finish? No, finished. It's it. Okay, no problem. Number one. You need help? Uh, yes. Which one? Para eso estaba con, estábamos con una duda, ¿verdad? Que había que responder las preguntas de la actividad uno. Why is a Kaiser management plan? Esa y, y la siguiente, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ajá. No, number one is, what is a crisis management plan? Esa está en la first slide. La second one, it's a personal answer. Because I'm asking you if in your company you have a management, a crisis management plan. So the answer most likely will be yes or no, for example. Uh, uh, uh -huh. And then number three, the answer is in the second slide. And you have to explain the the different stages right which is um pre-crisis crisis response and post-crisis and then the number four talks about the elements of a crisis management plan they are 10 but in your opinion what are the three most important elements, elements? Mm -hmm. okay but now uh, pues entonces nos equivocamos porque entonces la uno dice que está en En las imágenes que usted compartió. La one mm -hmm. y la tres. Of course, number one is there. Todo está ahí, my friend. Solo la número um, dos es personal. Ahí estuvo la confusión. Ok, porque la estamos haciendo como una opinión personal, la definición de what is a crisis management plan. You can, you can um, give your personal 
idea using your own words. Of course, taking like the, the information from the presentation, right? Okay. También se puede, no problem. Solo que la imagen, entonces, la, donde está la uno, no, no la, la comparte el WhatsApp, teacher. A yam, I guess it's there. So let me see. Es la primera diapositiva. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ahí está. Before the message that says, me quedé sin inter. Ahí está. <laughs> Uh, and then what entonces so. sí, sí, sí. Oh, vaya cuál sería entonces sería identified with crisis are most like to affect the organization and describes what it is, what the impact will be on the person. Sí, no la tengo yo. Si quieres, ya te mando ahí el screenshot. Vaya, y la tres, como dice el, el teacher, como hay de explicar, sería... Sería las tres pre-crisis, crisis okay. response, post-crisis. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Esas son cuando dice que hay que explicar en la pregunta tres. Sí, esa sería. Y la número cuatro. cuatro. Ahí pide tres elementos, los tres elementos más importantes de un plan de gestión de crisis. Uh -huh. Ahí podemos, aquí están 10 elementos, entonces habría que sacar como los tres más importantes. Esto está en la, en la plataforma. <ríe> ya me acordé. El número uno sí te digo que es bien importante. Ajá, porque es un protocolo de activación. Ah, no, 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 perdón. El 2 es de bien de yo. El 1 es... Estudi, estudi, el otro. análisis. Ajá. Análisis de riesgo. Sí. Y ahí otro elemento... Si de arroyando. Solo tres. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I know it's going to be difficult because we have 10, right? Yes. I know, but yes, only three. Bueno, right, entonces pongamos number one. Análisis. Eh, ver. Ver, número 2, protocolo de activación o activation pro, pro, protocol. Número 5, que habla de los planes de respuesta. Podría, podría ser como... Los pasos luego, en el momento de la crisis. ¿no? no, como los elementos más importantes de un plan de gestión de crisis, porque okay. eso es lo que te está pidiendo. Guys, I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know, ¿ok? okay hey, teacher. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Aquí lo que necesita es esto, mira. Uh, for example, uh, the facilities, 
uh, I, uh, the facilities they they do they do um, let me see simulacros I don't know what to simulacrum Simula simulacrum mm -hmm. simulacrum okay That's Simulacrum. Simulacrum. ¿Cómo se escribe? Simulacre. No, like this one. Com... I just texted right now in the group. In Simulacrum. The okay, thank you. Uh -huh. It is simulacrum. Ah, simulacrum. Okay. Okay, review, adjust, and update the crisis plan for the future. For example, uh, I'm going to For example, for example, uh, no, make uh, uh, randomly. I'm going to put it. So, see, from random. Randomly making some simulacrums. Simulacrums. In order to evaluate the, the response. Okay. Evaluate. The response and como que se dice que miden tiempo porque eso es lo que hacían en la empresa pero es lo mismo o sea, evaluar la respuesta to evaluate the response the responses of the employees Okay, the last one. Okay, number four. In your opinion, what are the top three most important elements of a crisis management plan? This is number four. Okay. What do you think, Nuria? What are the most the top three? In your opinion. Um oh bad. Yeah. Crisis. Uh, risk anal an analysis an, uh, analysis. Okay, it's important, yes. Mm -hmm. Risk. Super good guys. Analysis. Analyze. Hey, I will go to a different classroom, I mean, to a different room right now. So if you need help, let me know, okay? Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Nuria, um, I think that uh, the, 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 sorry, the number six, internal communications, the employees need to know the the protocols in yes. order to know what, what to do. Ah, hello, hello. Spanish, Jesus. Okay, este sería. Execute the plan. The plan. Execute. Execute the plan. And number three, no Sí, sí. 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 Sí.
Revaluate the plan to make to make improve improving improvement improvement mm -hmm. improvement in English, no, eh, sería evaluate the plan to make improvement for fewest crisis. Me parece. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Evaluate and revise. Evaluate and revise. Um, number so, number four in your opinion in, in your opinion what are two three most important elements of a, a crisis management plan okay. Okay. If you need my help, I'm here okay. to help you, remember. In my opinion, reads I I don't analyze analysis identify identify risk in any crisis. Yes. The number four. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Number yes. two, execute the plan. Wait, uh, uh, analyze this. Uh, number one, uh, re response action plans. I lost. Okay, guys, we are going to close the breakout rooms right now because it's time, okay? Okay, Mr. Membreño, I didn't see you participating. Hi, teacher. Were you participating? I finished. Excellent, volunteer, please. I have a question. Tell me. And uh, la pregunta número second. Is there a crisis management plan in your company? And um, my answer, my respuesta is. Uh, your microphone, Daniel. Hola, eh, ma, mi respuesta de la pregunta número dos que dice in your 
Is there a crisis management plan in your company? Uh, could it be a control inventory? Mm, not really, because that is like what we were studying in the previous classes, right? You know, like to keep control, like the quality control, right? This one is in case that there is an emergency. So what's going to happen, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. See. So remember that emergencies can uh, be because of a natural disaster or uh, something like, you know, the company didn't expect, right? Like fire, uh, earthquakes, storms, hurricanes, etc. right? Personal, huh? Fire. Como diría personal de... Eh, que anda de... Sí, sí, hay. No sé cómo describirlo. Sí, es que había notado primero eso, de personal de... Primero auxilio. First aid. Pero uh -huh. no estaba muy... First aid, pero no estaba muy seguro si era de emergencia o de control de... The end or what was it? No, it was like about emergencies, you know, versus crisis, right? Okay, but thank you for asking. So now, uh, everybody, welcome back to the main session. So we are going to uh, meet four volunteers who can actually give the answers for these questions we have right here. So who is going to be my volunteer for question number one? Question number one, number one, number one, number one. Who's my volunteer for question number one? It identify. Bueno, le voy a leer la pregunta antes. <laughs> okay, very <laughs> good. What is a crisis management plan? Mm -hmm. Is uh, identifies how the company will respond if a crisis occurs identifies which crises are most likely to affect the organization and describe what the impact will be on the business. All right, thank you very much. You know, that's basically the answer that it was in the slide number one, right? But thank you, thank you for identifying the answer and thank you for reading it again. Very good job, excellent. So now number two, who's my volunteer for number two? Hello, number two. Or, you know what, Sonia? Now you are going to select number two. Daniel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remember Is to read there, the question uh, first. Sí, yeah. Is there a quiz management plan in your company? Yes. Uh, Fields A personal. Uh-huh. First, a personnel. Okay, very good. But that is just like um, a group of people that has been assigned for that. But what about, for example, a plan? Do you follow a plan? Like, for example, simulacrum or anything? Yeah, simulacrum. Okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. What about number three? Number three? You choose it, Daniel. Let me see, let me see who is participating in this classroom. I can help you. Who? And I can help you with so, some names. I have Sonia, here, yeah. Yeah, I have Sonia. here Edwin, Guillermo, Jill, Catherine, Maritza, Noé, Nuria, Sonia, already participated. No, Noé. Noé. Noé, Noé, ajá. Yeah, Noé. Noé. Okay, okay, teacher. Este, All right, excellent. Thank you. Go ahead. Is explaining the cipher of a crisis man management plan. Stages. Okay. Eh, Moment, please. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, pre pre crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, identify the risks uh, facing in any crisis. Uh, the crisis response. 
is uh, excuse the plan uh, the post crisis uh -huh. revaluate re the the plan to make imp improvements for a few furious crisis improvements improvement correct Okay, great, excellent, thank you. So you were doing good. Just remember, in the question, it says the word stages. Correct, thank you. Okay, very good. Now, NC, um, please help me choosing the last volunteer. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead, read the question and then the, um, the answer. Okay. In your opinion, what are the top three most important elements of a crisis management plan? Uh, in my opinion, reads analysis, internal communication, and resource. Resource, you mean? Yes. Oh, resources. Okay, very good. Excellent. Resource. Okay. Resources. Resources. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much on this one. All right. Thank you, everybody, for helping me uh, in participating with this activity. Now we are going to move to the next one, right? The activity number two right here, which is reading. Yes, you have to read. All right. So we are going to read this paragraph. You guys are going to um, pay attention to the pronunciation. I am going to read it for you right now, and then I will send you to the breakout rooms to practice reading and then to answer some questions based on the paragraph. Okay, so let's see. It says, most of the public discussion of surveillance, all right, technology, it's and its uses revolves around the question, is it spooky or reassuring? That's actually what it says right there. At the moment, let's just review vocabulary, right? What is it? What, do you have questions at the moment? Uh huh. Uh, what is sur surveillance? Oh. It's surveillance. 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 Surveillance, yes. Surveillance means vigilancia, supervision, inspection. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. So, and then you got this one. Surveillance technology and its uses revolves around the question, is it spooky or reassuring? What is it spooky? Mm -hmm. Like this one, spooky. What is it? No idea, teacher. Okay, no problem. All right. So, with the word spooky, it's related to uh, to being afraid. All right. So, which is spooky means eh, tenebroso, escalofriante. Queda miedo, pues, you know? Escalofriante. Exactly. Escalofriante. We're going to, uh, I will give this word. Uh huh. There you go. Excellent. So, and then we continue with the next one. It says, um, but a different issue, it's the effect of, how do you pronounce the word? Let's see if you remember. How do you pronounce it? Surveillance. Exactly, right? So, surveillance, all right? And what is surveillance? Do you remember it? Vigilancia. 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 Very good. Excellent. So uh, we go with the effect of surveillance on behavior. In a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effects can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employees level theft and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed. At 392 or 392 restaurants in 39 states, a employee theft 
and frog, it's a big problem. All right, let's go with that one right there. What is employee, theft, and fraud? This one. Employee, theft, and fraud. What is it? It's, um, bueno, en español sería como el, el robo de un empleado o el fraude. Robo y fraude. Exactly, right? So it's going to be like employee, uh, theft, and fraud. It's, we're talking about fraude y robo de empleados, right? So, o sea, no que te estén robando los empleados, sino que los empleados están robando, right? That's what it means. All right, so it's a big problem estimated up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high in that environment. A certain amount of test has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging a four, uh, I'm sorry, a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate, right? So pay attention to this one, right? Viene el, el bartender y le da el trago al eh, customer, right? No se lo cobra, pero le pide una tip que va directamente a él. ¿Una qué era una tip? Propina. Una propina, exactly, right? Entonces lo pone como una propina, very good. But monitoring software, it's now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns uh, or patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of uh, $2,982 a week, knowing they were being monitored. The servers not only pulled back on any unethical practices, but also channel their efforts into, say, promoting customers to have that dessert a second bird. All right, so very good job, excellent. So questions about vocabulary there? It's the time for you to, to say the cavalaries, right? Mm -hmm. Hello? What is, what is knowing, knowing? Knowing, sabiendo. Lien. Mm -hmm. Knowing they were being monitored, sabiendo que estaban siendo monitoreados. Very good. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay, no, so eh, did you send the screenshots? I'm gonna tomo yo, no yet? Let me clean screen then. Okay, one second. Okay, so we go here and you go here. There you go, excellent. So, oh, thank you, Gustavo, for sending the screenshot right here. I will also send it here, but clean. Whatever it's better for you. Okay, excellent. So let's just continue right now. Now, before I send you to the breakout rooms, you need to also remember what is the activity you're going to be doing. Yes, you're going to be reading, of course, but you need to also answer these six questions. The questions are based on the paragraph, right? So we need to read the paragraphs to try to answer the questions right here. Uh, can someone please take the screenshot for the questions and send it to the group? Yes, yes, yes. Let me know if you could send it, or if not, I will. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody, before I send you to the breakout rooms, do you have any questions? No questions, teacher. Okay, excellent. So if that's the case, please make sure you join the breakout rooms now. 
Thank you, Gustavo, for sending the image. Mr. Daniel Membreño, what happened? Okay, thank you. Catherine, Ursula. Teacher, no me parece. Tengo problemas con la conexión. Okay, Catherine. Who were you practicing with before? Uh, room number one. ¿Con quién estaba? Con, con, con Guillermo, eh, right? Con Guillermo, ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahí va, Catherine. Gracias, teacher. No, Úrsula. Úrsula, Úrsula. Hello, Úrsula Estaldi Gómez Martínez. Hello, Maritza. Hello, teacher. Eh, Ursula had internet connection issues. Vamos a esperar a ver si se puede eh, conectar nuevamente para que pueda continue practicing with you. Ok. Ok, thank you. Si no, pues lo vamos a obtener en otro room, pero vamos a darle chance que entre. Este, puede empezar probablemente exponiendo sus preguntas by yourself. Bye. All right. Gracias. Thank you. Siente que la vigilancia se considera. Uh, number two. How many restaurants were part of the research? Okay. How many? How many restaurants, restaurants? Uh -huh. were part of the research? research? Were, were part, okay, were part of the research? The research, research, research. Mm -hmm. Is a fraud. No, 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 no. No. What is estimator? What is estimator? In Cost. number, in number two, uh, three hundred. Nine, nine, two. Yeah. How many? 
¿Cuántos? Yes. 392. 392. 392. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number three. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? ¿Cuál es el costo estimado del robo? Uh -huh. eh, es two hundred billion. Two hundred billion a year. Two hundred billion. Yes. Okay. Number four. Number four. What is a proud tactic used by bartender? ¿Cuál es la táctica? El truco. Okay, guys, can you do me a favor? Yes. I'm going to, this is Jill and Noé, right? Voy a mover yes. a ambos a otro grupo donde tengo una persona sola, please. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Uh, what is it? Number two, and then number two. Okay, please go to number two. Thank you. Hello. Hello, teacher. Are you working on the questions? No question, teacher. Okay, so no, no working on the questions. Yes, teacher, ah, working okay. the question. Okay. Do you have any questions? Do you need my help in anything there? Um, es spooky, es algo así como aterrador o peluznante, no sé. That is correct. Or like, for example, in the context that they are trying to tell you that right there, it's like if they are saying que si debe ser algo eh, que vigila o algo que te, como algo atemorizante. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No question, but comment. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Et ethic is ethica. Ethics, yes. Ethics. 
Correct. I will go to a different room. If you have questions, let me know, okay? Teacher. Yes. Um, ¿Cómo se lee 392? 392. Correct. 92. 92. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll go to a different room right now, okay? If you need help, call me. Okay, teacher, thank you. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Questions? No questions so far. Okay, excellent. I will be here in the room for a couple of minutes. If you need um, my help, just let me know, okay? Okay, no problem, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.
No questions? We have finished, teacher. Oh, you finished. Excellent. Right. Yes. All right. No problem. So, well, right on time because we are going to go back to the main station right now. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Thank okay, you. teacher. Hello, Ursula, what happened? Okay, everybody, welcome back, right? So from this activity where you have to read and answer those questions right here. So same thing here, we are going to be asking for volunteers. So for this activity, I will need six volunteers, one per question, all right? So what is my first volunteer for question number one? Mm -hmm. Who's my first volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Thank you, Sonia. Please help me with question number one. Okay. Uh, why do people think uh, surveillance is considered spooky? Spooky, yes. Why? It is scary for employees who don't do their jobs based on ethic. Based on ethic. Repeat it. Based on ethic. Thank you. Good job. That is actually the correct answer, right? So you did it correctly. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Uh, Sonia, choose the person, the second volunteer for the second for the second question, of course. Okay, Jill. Oh, Jill. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. I have here. Jill, are you ready? Okay, so then take her place. Nuria, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, how many how many restaurants uh, were part of the research? Um, is 3,092 restaurant in 39 states. Yeah, that's the correct answer, but the number is wrong. Remember, it's not 3,000, it's 300. 300, excuse me. <laughs> no worries, thank you. Thank you very much on this one, very good. Okay, who is going to be, uh, the next volunteer? Catherine. Okay, oh, guess Catherine is gone because of the internet. She's not here anymore. Wilfredo. Okay, thank you. Mr. Luna, number three, please. Okay. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Mm, it is estimated at it is estimated at up to two hundred billion a year. All right, very good. That's the correct answer. Thank you very much. 200 million, sorry, 200 billion a year. Yes. Thank you. All right. Who's my next volunteer? Uh, Wilfredo, who's next? Daniel. Daniel. All right. Daniel. Uh, 
Hi, hi, teacher. Sorry. Okay, number four. Um, number four. Mm -hmm. Where is a proud tactic used to be bartenders? Let me see. Let me see. In, uh, uh, example is the software. Espera, quiero ver. Leí que el software, pero no, no hay un buen. And... Um, a simple example uh, is the but monitor software is not available to track all the uh, transactions and the text substitutions parent Papers. Uh, one more time, please. Ah, uh, example is um the software is not available. Uh, uh that's not the answer. It's not answer. Uh -uh. Teacher. Yes. It is not. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customer to take care of me with a live tip. Other tactics are more el elaborate. Elaborated. All right. So, yes, that's actually correct. Elaborate. Yes. Thank you, Henry. You did a very good job. Now, um, let's continue with the next volunteer. Who's going to be my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Oh, then. Wilfredo, then. Oh, Wilfredo and then Nuria. Okay. Thank you, Wilfredo, number five, and then Nuria, number six. Number five. Mm -hmm. What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? Uh huh. What was it? Uh, an average of 2,982 a week. All right, excellent. Don't forget, you need to say $2,982. Okay. 82. Ah, dollars. Okay. I mean, you you okay. can say you can say 982 or 982. That's okay in both ways. But you need to say dollars at the end because it's an amount of money. Dollars at the end. Okay, teacher understood. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, Nuria, go with the last one, please. Okay. Uh, what was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitor monitoring software was installed? Installed. Uh, installed. Yes. Okay. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pull it Pull back, back. on only un, un, unethical. Un, Unethical practice, but, but also ch chainlet channel. their effort, mm -hmm. channel it. Channel uh, their efforts. E efforts in to say prompting, prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay, excellent, right? So that's correct. Dessert, correct. Very good job, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. Okay. And now, my friends, we are going to uh, finish here with this last activity, all right? Uh, but we are going to do it together here right now, all right? So we have here, I need a volunteer who can help me here with the instruction, please. Instruction, who's my volunteer? My teacher. All right, thank you, Edwin, go ahead. Match the words to their meanings. Mm -hmm. If necessary, go back to the page. passage. Uh, uh -huh. Passage. Uh -huh. to check your answers. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we're going to match these definitions with the numbers we have right here. We have done activities like this one before. All right. So, we are going to review this one. Okay. So, then, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer. We are going to read the definitions y vamos a ir agarrando una de estas aquí. All right, so to do it easier. All right, so it says, number one, 
The way someone acts. What is going to be that one, my friends? The way someone acts. Do you know it? Number two. Number three. Number, Number three. three. Exactly. Behavior. Very good. Excellent. Who can help me to read the next one? Reading, reading. The, action, the action or crime of stealing. The action of crime or stealing. What is it? Number four. Number, Number four. four. That is correct. Very good. Excellent. So thank you. So we have there. Thank you. Who can help me to read the next one? Mm -hmm. The amount of money paid to an employee. Thank you. And what is that? Number five. Mm -hmm. Number five, you know, normally it would be salary, but also this is a synonym and it can be used as this one, wage. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Uh, next one. Hello? Oops. Hello, 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 hello. Something, uh-huh. Something that number one, fear or nervous, nervous, nervousness. Uh -huh. What is it? Number seven, number seven. Number seven, exactly. Something that makes you feel spooky. Thank you. All right. Did you go on the next one? To remove, uh-huh, here. The act of watching. No, so I, it's it's like next to number five to remove. Uh huh. This one. Mm -hmm. To remove someone's dog and fears. And fears. Uh huh. What is it? Yeah. We are sure. You sure? We are sure. Number two. All right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. So sorry guys. Sí. I tell you part of the right here. Es que ahí está el cinco ya. Yeah, sorry. Ajá, uh -huh, los números no los habían puesto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Excuse me. It was just for you to see if you were paying attention. All right. Thank you. Ahora mm -hmm. sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is it? Number two. Number two. Number two, okay. So then we have to remove this one as well. And we have to put it here, right? Yes, number four. Okay. And we also have to remove this one and put it here, seven. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we only have two options. The act of watching someone closely to detect a crime Surveillance. Number one. Okay. Number one. Number Very good. Excellent. And the last one, to give a small amount of money to someone who was providing a service. That is us. A tip. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you guys for helping me with this one. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So, do you guys have questions about this? No, teacher. No questions. All right. Thank you very much for participating in the activities tonight. And thank you for joining the class, right? So I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.